YouTube, it's Joe, what's going on? And we're going to do a review about this skull. No, I'm only kidding, we're not doing <laughs> just want to show it to you. My buddy Sean over at SSR Knives and Guns gave this to me a while ago and I was just admiring it. So I figured I'd throw it on camera again. Pretty cool for 3D printing, right? So, anyway, back to the subject at hand. We're going to review this. This is the Riate Knives Horizon D knife clone. So, we've got a lot to cover. Now, if you know, I uh, recently reviewed the real um, uh, Horizon D, but I'm going to do a separate video on that because I don't want to do one really long video. I'm going to do two mediumly, medium long videos. But if you want to see the comparison of this knife, two pictures of this knife versus the, the real one, uh, I'm going to put two links in my description to my Instagram, and, and it has the front front view and the back view uh, of uh, both knives, so you can check it out. Also, to get you to, you know, check out my Instagram, and, you know, i got to admit, Instagram, I'm doing, I'm doing much better, I'm getting into it. A couple months ago, I didn't even have anything on Instagram, and now i got a bunch of stuff, but it's not all knives. It, uh, knives. It's not, it's not all knives. I'm doing a lot of food stuff on there, a bunch of stuff. I'm trying to, you know, shake it up a little bit, make it a little bit different from YouTube. So check it out. Check out the two links um, for the pictures if you want to get a preview. I am going to do a video comparison of both this one and the other one within a few days because i got to get that uh, the real one back. All right? So let's just move this to the side for a minute. I just want to show you the box that came in. Let's fade back a little bit. Basically, uh, a pseudo um, Boker... Poker Plus type box with the little, with the magnetic thing, right? No, no writing on it, no pouch, um, and it had just you know just this cut out with the knife in it and the plastic. And that's it. Nothing fancy. Ooh, what did I just say? What do you say? Anyway, <laughs> uh, so here we go. So before we even get into it, I'm gonna read off some stats. I'm gonna make sure I read off the right stats. So, so like I said, it's the clone of the Horizon D. Uh, it is the blade is D2 steel. Uh, the now they live for some odd reason. They listed as stone wash, but as we can see, well, at least to my view, this is not a stone wash blade. Let's clean that up a little bit. Looks more like satin to me. But if it is stone wash, it is the satiniest stone wash I've ever seen. But we're going to go with satin. Satin blade, titanium handles, uh, the weight of the knife is 6.24 ounces, the hardness of the blade is 58.60, uh, I think I said it was a D2 blade, uh, the blade length is 5, I mean, excuse me, 3.99 inches, the overall length is 8.7 inches, uh, it has a uh, ball bearing pivot, it's a frame lock, it's a uh, Tip up carry, um, what do you call it? Right, right handed only. There it is in the hand. We're we'll gonna measure it up, put it up against a couple of knives, cut, do a cut test. Now I just got this this morning, so I really could label this as a uh, first impressions, but I, I was by flipping it, God knows how many, couple dozen times, and did an ever so slight paper cut, but nothing major. So. Let's get it measured up. And believe it or not, for those of you guys who do watch a lot of my videos, last video with the Riate, uh, the real one, it was the first time the dollar did not come out. Wow, the streak is over. The dollar's back. So, there it is against the dollar. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's see. We'll put it against the ruler and some other knives. There it is against the ruler. All right, some other knives you might know or not know. Uh, anything you see, I'll put the link. Anything you see in this video, I'll put the link to the uh, videos that I've done of these knives if you want to check it out. This is the clone of the Spider Code Domino. So there it is against that. This is the clone of the ZT 077 carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, excuse me, I can't talk today. You can see it towers over that knife. Co 
Code 4 has been seen a lot of video action lately, so what the hell. Cold Steel, Cold 4. There it is against that. Can throw another one in there for you. Oh, I'll throw this. This one hasn't seen video time in a while. This is Spyderco Citadel Automatic. Let me see, make sure I have the. Oh, I do have it open. I do. I want to make sure I had the lock on. One time I was doing this and pressing it, hacking away, and I had the lock on. So, Spyderco Citadel Automatic. There it is against that. Okay, let's put that away. Alright, I had a piece of paper somewhere. Let's do a quick cut test. As you can see already, that was the first one. I was just anxious to see how it worked, how it uh, how it handled. Oops, I'm doing it like a spaz, but it is cutting very well. Very nice, very sharp. No complaints there. So. Take a look at it some more. See, it is a fingerprint magnet. As you can notice, one thing I'll mention against the uh, the real Riate that the markings are not on there, which I like. I like that. Now, with the, the future video, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to go over all um, aspects of this knife versus the other one. We'll try to get in detail like I did with the, uh, like I did one time with the uh, the clone. Because this is a rare, op I mean the clone, like I did one time with the Techno. Because this is a rare opportunity that I have both at the same time. Now, with the Techno, I do, excuse me, I do own both. Uh, the real one and the clone. But in this case, this is um, this is the clone. I have the, the real one here, but that one's going to go back, so... Let's look at it some more. Sorry, I can't get this. I'm trying to get this dirt off to make it look nicer for you guys, but should have put a little bow stall on it. If you guys are not up on bow stall, very good product. Uh, if you want to shine, you know, guns, knives. Matter of fact, I have it here. I never did a review on, it, but I, you know, that's what it looks like. The can. I mean, I'm sure there's different cans, different you know, containers that it comes in, but this is the one I got. Don't ask me how much I paid for it, but it's not expensive. Uh, at first, I used to hate the smell of this thing, but now I, I kind of got used to it, so. Let's see, though. That's a lockup is like 25%. Got a nice early lockup. Centering. It's dead on. Now, one thing I can tell you right off the bat, I do not like about this knife. It's nothing major. It's not a deal killer. I haven't mentioned the price yet, by the way. Uh, the detent is kind of weak. Now, I'm used to flipping open knives and then turning around and shaking it like this. You know, maybe my hands will still be there while I'm getting ready to turn around and shake it like this, and then the knife comes down, you know, nice, nice and easy. But this one, it it's very weak, so you could conceivably cut yourself if you don't get your fingers out of there fast enough. See, like, it, it goes down really fast. So, I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but it's something you got to be wary of, that it, it, because of the, it is kind of weak, that it does fall pretty fast, because I can just see myself, you know, having your hands there and the thing comes down, and, you know, I mean, it won't be a major cut, but you'll still be getting cut. Uh, the flipping action is very nice. It's very smooth. As you saw, it's very sharp. Now, what I, I where I got it, and how much I spent, and how long it took to get here. Um, this is my first experience with uh, DH Gate. It's called 
site, not Ally Express. Uh, I tried them for something different. And it came to Eastern United States in 14 days, which is pretty good. I mean, I've had some rare cases of Ally Express being like eight days, but those are, you know, few and far between. Uh, and it cost $57. So $57, and that's including shipping. Now, I know I said we're not going to compare, but I just want to mention that the real one is $399 of the real. So just keep that in mind for a future video. But we're only going to go by how this one is, if it's worth... Is it worth $57? Do I like it? Do I not like it? I'm going to say yes. Um, I'll say this, though. It, a lot of, some of you might not, those of you looking for a knife of this size, because it is, a, don't forget, it is a 3.99, well, a shade under 4-inch blade. So it's a decent-sized blade. Labels as titanium, but it is a hefty 6.24 ounces. Now, you're going to feel that in your pocket, so that might shy some people away. But there's a grading right there. Now I don't know um, if the backspacer. Uh, I don't think this is G10. To tell you to be honest, with you it does feel like metal. So I'm gonna go with metal on this one. I don't. I'm gonna say I don't. I'm gonna say I doubt that it's titanium. I mean, we could also question whether this is really titanium. You know, but. It, they listed it as titanium. And another thing I forgot to mention, too, is DH Gate, this particular seller, does not refer to this as the Horizon D. They basically just say re eight, re eight knives, blah, 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 blah. And now, I'm not the for, foremost authority on uh, re eight, Reate or Re8, but um, I know that there's a Horizon C, maybe there's a Horizon B or A. So maybe this isn't the. Uh, uh, what do you call a clone of the Horizon D but when you see the, the pictures on Instagram and when you see my future video that I'm going to make sometime comparing these, this one it has to be this is so but I just want to say that you're going on there looking for Horizon D and you don't see it that's gonna probably be the reason why because they don't list it as a Horizon D uh, clone but in all intent purposes as the saying goes all intents and purposes this is a Horizon D uh, uh, clone so, in all, nice sharpness, nice blade, very nice look, pretty decent, you know, deep pocket clip, nice lanyard hole. Of course, I'm, I guess maybe I might be a little swayed because I did review the the uh, Horizon D real one first, so uh, I. And I kept saying how great that one is. I'll put the link to that in, in uh, this description as well, in case you don't see it on my channel. I like this knife a lot. Uh, like I said, it could be a little lighter. Um, it is heavier than the real one. I know I, know I keep contradicting myself, saying I'm not going to compare, but it is heavier than the real one. Uh, I, the weakness of the detent has got me a little concerned, but nothing major. But otherwise... To me, this is definitely worth fifty-seven dollars. Flipping action is nice. Now, do they, since they listed this as a stone wash, do they make a? Uh, and, and it turns out it's a satin blade. Do they make a stone wash uh, of this uh, clone? I have, I have no idea. We, you know, the real one I know that I did on my video is stone wash. This is satin blade so zoom in for the final shot so again stay tuned very soon because the other night's got to go back I'm gonna have a comparison video but again like I, I know I'm repeating myself check the two the links of the two pictures um, so in case you want to get a quick preview on uh, what the differences are so there you have it the Riate knives the Re8 Riate knives Horizon D Knife clone. Fifty-seven dollars. DH gate. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I hope you enjoyed the video.